Hi, everybody. So, yeah. Uh, this is Wingtip 1. That's the name of this video, Wingtip 1. So, we're doing the wingtips. As you can see, it's uh, fiberglass. And what we're working on here is the plexiglass light covers. So, the wingtips contain the nav strobes, which I've gone with the uh, do-it-yourself build fly LEDs from uh, Australia. Very nice product. And so what you do is the uh, lens covers come as one piece. You cut it in half. It's got the left and right on there. Then you position the plexiglass on top of the uh, area that you need to cover. And you kind of arrange it until the slope of the plexiglass looks like it's going to meet the angles of the fiberglass. Uh, mark it with a... I just use a Sharpie. And now to cut, I actually just use a pair of tin snips. Just a pair of right hand, or sorry, left hand with snips. Now before I cut into that plexiglass, I make sure that both sides of the plexiglass, right where I'm going to be cutting, I've got uh, tape on both sides. Right, I, it helps keeping, helps keep it from splintering, and makes it a uh, very clean cut. And so basically what I like to do, and so the wingtips themselves, the areas where the lights are, it's got a lip in it, right? So these wingtips are very high dollar, good quality, lots of fiberglass, uh, and, it, and it contains a nice little lip, you know, about not an eighth of an inch, but a little bit shy of an eighth of an inch. Uh, and so you basically just kind of cut the fi uh, plexiglass to, you, to where you're within maybe an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths. And then you start making fine cuts, and you start laying it back on, on and off, on and off. And keep marking, where do I, what do I need to cut? Because you don't want to F this up. You're trying to get as close to the line as you can without crossing it. And as soon as you get to where something looks good, you don't touch it. You wait till all the areas are like that, then you give the edge nice, nice light sanding, and you call it done. I think one of the reasons I was dreading it is because, you know, you read the posts about how people, oh god, you have to fit it a thousand times. Uh, it's more like 15. Oh, and there's my wife. And the call with the wife is over. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, you really only have to fit it on about a dozen times, maybe 15 uh, once you get comfortable with cutting it and you kind of see what you need to do, it, 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 it picks up. So I will say, um, you see the tape that I've got on there? That's that uh, kind of beige masking tape, which I've been using a little bit. Uh, do not use that. Don't use that tape. Uh, I accidentally left that tape on for like, I don't know, a few days. And it basically bonded with, not bonded, but it left a lot of residue on the plexiglass. Get yourself some three-quarter inch uh, blue painter's tape. Can't go wrong with that. It's got just that, especially if you can see when you go to buy it, it'll say low to medium adhesion. That's what you want. And I've looked up, so uh, what I did was, I got a little proactive, and I went to Vans, I went to the website, and I said, oh yeah, let's just check to see, it, you know, if I had to get a new wingtip, it wouldn't be the end of the world. If I had to get another light cover, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, but still, you know, you don't want to fudge it up. Um, yeah. Yeah, just trying to fit these, trying, just trying to fit these. So, after you get them all to fit, and so, like I said, there's a lip around the entire thing, about an eighth of an inch. Once you've got the whole thing to fit really nice, and it looks right, and the angle feels good, because uh, what you want is you want that plexiglass basically to sit on there without having to get screwed in. Or, if anything, maybe just a little bit of pressure just to have it put in. I don't know. You, you want it to basically can just sit there. Then you sand the edges to make it nice and smooth. And then what we'll actually do in the next video is we're going to come in and we're going to start putting some uh, nut plates in. And I really realized I should have gotten the camera closer. So Anyway, I'm just going to trail on out as I'm working on these. And in, like I said, in the next video, uh, we're going to work on cutting it out and putting in some nut plates this season.